Guys, I made a video on this uh, matrix control before, but it didn't get very many views and it had a lot of dislikes. And when I checked it, it really wasn't very clear. Now, the secret of the matrix control is that you have four possible controls. Right now it's on four. We can move it to three, two, and one. So you can set up four separate controls to control any parameter of the sound. And you can even have one control uh, control as many as four different parameters. But we've got the parameters turned off here. As you can see, we're only using the first one. Because when we come down here, we've got, um, we've got four turned off. How do we know we have four turned off? Because notice the destination is off. So control destination four is off. Control destination three. And likewise two. And we just have one enabled. So let's just concentrate on the parameters that you can set for each control destination. First of all, there's a control source. As you can see there, we have it set to CC12. But you can set it to any control change number or any uh, MIDI parameter you want to do. So we're going to leave it set for control, um, uh, con continuous control 12. So the destination, notice I have the destination set to cut off. But you can set the destination to a whole range of different parameters uh, to do with the TVA, the TVF, and, and so forth. You can get the attack, the decay, the release of any of those envelope generators. And then the next parameter is the sensitivity. We've got the sensitivity to plus 63, which means maximum sensitivity. And then notice the control switches are on. We don't have to really turn on all of them, but uh, the little blue indicators up top here show us that we're only using two of the partials. So really and truly the same thing would work if we had one and two on and three and four off. Because three and four, even though set to on, are not doing anything because the partials are turned off. But the advantage of having the control switch is that you can um, get your effect to affect one partial and not the other. So that's called partial splitting. So you don't have to be able to deal with all two partials. But we've got all two partials on and we're changing the control frequency for all two of them. Now we set up all four controls for you, just to show you how to do it. So when you, when you go back up to the top and you move over to matrix control 2, once again you can set four destinations for the controller. And we've chosen the controller as uh, continuous control 13. And this time we set it to resonance, resonance. And we've also got maximum sensitivity and all of the partials turned on. Then we've got the destinations, the other destinations, 2, 3, and 4 turned off because we're only interested in having the control affect one parameter so that we can check it, right? And then now when we go to control 3, we have that set to CC14. So we're actually using 12, 12, 13, 14, and 15 control numbers. And this one is set to the pitch envelope attack time. That's what that abbreviation there means. Pitch envelope attack time. And we've got the maximum sensitivity on that. And we once again, we have it affecting all. So we're using control 14. And we have it set to pitch envelope attack time. And we have maximum sensitivity we have all the partials turned on and then we've got the other control destinations turned off just as we did for the other controllers and then finally we're going to go to matrix control 4 and um, When we come down to matrix control 4, we've got that obviously set for continuous controller 15. And this time we have the envelope generator for the filter. That's what TVF means. Envelope generator for the filter. And we have it set to attack time. That's why it says TVF envelope attack time. 
Once again, maximum sensitivity and all partials on. And once again, all the other control destinations are turned off. So, okay, after setting up those four controls within, the, um, within that particular tone, what we did was we went to we went to the menu and system and then we went to the tab that deals with the knobs see where it says song modify knobs assign and we assign the song modified knobs to 12, 13, 14 and 15 so now the first four song modified knobs are going to alter those parameters once we have let me just get it so you can see it once we have it set here to assign 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because these others have predisposed um, behaviors. So if we want to use MIDI controllers from the, four, the uh, knobs, we have to use the assign. Because once we have assign 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 along this line, once we have the arrow set to this line, then we can program the knobs. So the first four knobs are controlling those parameters that uh, we set before just now and uh, we're, get, we're just going to show you a little sample of how it sounds and to show you that the controllers are affecting the uh, sound in real time and then we are going to use a MIDI controller to control it from external so that we show you that we can get this as an external control outside of the keyboard we're hoping it'll work we'll show you in a sec can have whichever you want. You can set it up on your FA06 or you can play it on your 800 Pro. Makes no difference. Well, set it up on your favorite controller. And thanks for watching the Stephen Mandy's channel. See you in the next video.